In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix custom skin problem in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So guys, if you run into this message over here where it says, please import a .png file of dimensions, then do not worry because I'm going to show you exactly how to fix it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up any web browser. For this video, I'm going to be utilizing Google Chrome. And next up, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and look up custom skin pack maker and then go ahead and search it up. And then you want to locate the website called cdsmytha.com. It is right over here. So let's go ahead and press on it and then it is going to look something that looks like this. It will also work for Minecraft Education Edition by the way. Now this is a tool that will resize your Minecraft skin and basically make it work and get rid of that error message. So what you need to do from here is you need to go ahead and scroll down and then you're going to get this right over here. So you want to go ahead and provide the name for your skin. So for this video, let's just call it green skin right over here. And then now you need to go ahead and actually give your skin pack a name. And basically, instead of just using a regular skin, it is going to turn it into a skin pack. And then you're able to upload that skin pack to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And then it is going to work for the skin pack name. You can name it whatever you want. By the way, I'm just going to be calling it green skin pack right over here. Just keeping it simple. Again, you want to keep it simple as well. And nope, that is not how you spell skin pack. Oh my goodness. Okay, there you go. All right. And and then where it says version number, you need to input the Minecraft Bedrock version that you're currently working with. So me, I'm currently working with Minecraft 1.21. And at the time of recording this video, that is the most up-to-date version. So just go ahead and select on that. And here's where things get really important. It is now going to say image upload and you want to press on choose a file. Then it is going to open up your photos. And from here, you just want to go ahead and actually locate the skin that you're trying to use. So this is the green skin I was talking about. So let's go ahead and select on it right over here. And then afterwards, it is going to give you like a mini preview and you just want to confirm that it is the correct skin and that everything does look normal. All right. Afterwards, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on download pack right over here. And then there you go. It will now say download a file. Then it will say file downloaded. Now, before we do anything, we actually need to install another application in order to manage files. And one great application is called file manager. So what I recommend that you guys do is open up the Google Play Store and then you want to go ahead and select on search. And then just look up file manager right over here and you want to download this app in particular so it is going to be called file manager plus and this is the one that i strongly recommend that you guys use so make sure that it is the correct one because there's actually multiple applications called file manager but just make sure that it is actually called file manager plus and it does have the same logo as this one all right and by the way if you're on an ios you could do this as well with the built-in file manager system that ios does offer but for android i recommend using this but what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and press on open then it is going to go ahead and give you a bunch of different options right over here now if it's your first time ever using the file manager app you may need to give this application permission in order to access your files and stuff like that so please go ahead and do that Anyways, afterwards, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on download, and then it is going to give you a list of all of the different downloaded files that you do have on your device. And then you just want to go ahead and scroll down until you find the skin pack that you did make. So recall earlier in this video, we made the skin pack called the green skin pack right over here. So here it is. So all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and long press on it, and then it is now going to be selected. Afterwards, you want to go to the bottom menu and press over here where it does say rename. So you're going to notice that the file name is going to end in .mcpack.zip. So in our example, it is greenskinpack.mcpack.zip. What we need to do is we need to get rid of the .zip, just like so, and make sure that the file ends strictly in .mcpack in order for it to work. So once you're 100% sure it ends in .mcpack, go ahead and press on done. And then you'll notice that the file icon is actually going to change. And then what you want to do is you want to long press on the file one more time. And this time you want to go ahead and select over here where it says more on these three dots then go ahead and press on open with then please go ahead and select on minecraft and if it's your first time ever using file manager you may need to go ahead and scroll down a little bit in order to find minecraft but as soon as you find minecraft you guys could select on just once or always it doesn't really matter it will get the job done regardless for this video i'm just going to go ahead and press on just once and then there you go it is now going to go ahead and load it into minecraft it will now say import started and if we did everything correctly it will now say successfully imported so here's what we need to do now we need to go ahead and press on dressing room right over here. We need to go ahead and press on change classic skin. Then what you want to do is in the left menu, make sure that this green icon is actually selected with like the little like cloth hanger. Then you just want to go ahead and scroll down and then you should be able to see the skin right over here in skin pack form. And then, yeah, from here, you guys should be good to go and you guys could have a ton of fun with your Minecraft skin. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.